All right, from COVID to everyday emergencies, healthcare heroes are busy saving lives. One downriver nurse is redefining what it means to take care of her patients by going beyond the hospital bed. Our Megan Woods shows us how this idea came about. Megan. A sweater, a pair of boots, they're not something you would think a patient needs in a hospital, but one Beaumont nurse not only saw a need, but did something about it. There are a lot of patients that come in and their clothes are soiled or torn or cut off. As a nurse at Beaumont Trenton, Laura Thompson has a knack for helping people when they need it the most, and that's not limited to medical needs. I had a patient one day that needed to walk home because she lives very close to the hospital and um, it did not have any shoes. She said she was happy to walk home in two pairs of hospital socks, and I just, I, I was so upset. I was like, I want to be able to give this lady a pair of shoes. So she turned her frustration into this. I just went to Target and bought like a shelving unit and some bins and threw it together one day. And then um, everyone on the unit started pulling together and donating. And then people in the hospital heard about it and started donating. She named it the Brody Garrett Closet after her 12 year old son, who also has a giving heart. So it was my way of saying, I see you and here you go. This is your spirit and I'm honoring you. The closet hasn't been around long, but it's already making a difference. Patients are shocked that, you know, we're able to just give them clothes and they can take them home. And um, it makes them feel more comfortable and loved during the hospital process. She says several people throughout the Beaumont Health System have reached out to her to see how they can start up their own closet at their own location. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. And you can uh, donate gently used or new items by uh, stopping by the front desk at Beaumont in Trenton. Really nice story. Yeah. All right, Michigan's